sister Julie, prayer, prayer, prayer keeps you close to God. Prayer brings the anointing of God close to you. Prayer honors God. So when you have success of the glory, goes to the Lord rather than you. And it is really important for us to, to understand that God has established United Prayer International to protect Pastor Sonny, our elders, their family, and all the core ministries of Victory Outreach. But then we begin to see that the that, that third generation, the second and third generation, I'm, I think I'm from the first generation, I've been here 30, almost 38 years. Amen. I was a teenager when I came in here. And we fought a lot of battles. We fought a lot of demonic powers that is almost scared to think that you're going to face some of those demons without prayer, without the anointing of God, without the, 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 the emphasis that we put in ourselves in prayer and fasting and the word of God to make it to where we are. So it is the burden with oh, Pastor Sonny, Sister Julie, even Pastor Sonny Jr., Pastor Philip, that, that everybody catches what, what make this church and this movement what it is. Prayer. The anointing of God. Jesus declared in John chapter 15, without me you can do nothing. You can do absolutely nothing. And the, the Bible says in Matthew chapter, chapter 26, 41, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is wounded, but the flesh is weak. Many people started right, but they haven't been. You know, they haven't, they, they, they dropped, dropped out of the reins. And the last, you know, scripture I want to share with you is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. It, 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 there, there are demonic powers that you're going to have to face that you can face it with a nice cell phone. You can face it with your iPad. You can face it with your computer. You, you have to face it on your knees. You have to face it with the Word of God. You have to face it with faith and determination. The greatest in you, greatest he that is in you, that he that is in the world. So there'll be three things that are going to be under attack in your generation. Number one is your prayer life. Your prayer life will be under attack every single day. Because success without prayer is a cheap limitation of victory. It will only last a little bit. That people will find out that it was only your natural talents that got you to where you are. And not prayer. And not the Lord. Another thing that's going to be under attack is going to be your faith. Because there's still a lot of countries that we need to take. Many countries that we need to go. And in some countries, it's so violent. It's so perverted that it's going to take the anointing of God to break the yoke of those demonic forces that are waiting for us on the other side. We're supposed to break those powers. And principalities. So your faith will be challenged. And the last thing that will be attacked. It will be your life of personal holiness. There is an epidemic pornography right now. Going on in, in the body of Christ. It's so simple. You can turn on your cell phone. In the privacy of your own home. In the privacy of the restroom. And look at pornography. And that will corrupt your mind. It will corrupt the message. It will keep you coming to the altar. Not to pray for others, but to pray for yourself. And you, you will no longer preach with conviction. So it is important for you to understand that we can't make prayer a, a side kick. We can't make prayer like a side thing. Prayer has to be the centerpiece of this ministry. It has to be the centerpiece of the youth. It has to be, be the centerpiece of our future. It has to be on a daily basis at home and whatever you at. So, so you are the leaders. You can change the, pit, the temperature and create an irresistible culture of prayer and fasting in your, in your cities, wherever you come from. Uh, in conclusion, I think it was last year that Pastor Philip and I were talking about prayer. 
He allowed me to talk to the leaders of prayer. And we concluded, you know, prayer is important. Well, both of us understood that. And we, we, you know, those of us that are leaders, if you're a leader, the devil's going to try to take you out, one way or another. And it was right after that that, you know, he took off, I took off. He had an attack accident, car accident in Mexico that almost cost him his life. He could have died just like that. I got in a motorcycle accident that I could have died just like that. The motorcycle was total. Pastor Rick got in a car accident. The devil wanted to take him out. The devil hates what we're doing here. But what kept us together, I believe, it was prayer. It was prayer that somebody was praying. And so we want to start a UPI gang prayer ministry. Where, 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 where you're praying in Ireland and you're praying in Africa and in Mexico and Central America and South America. And those of you that are here, your responsibility is to pray for Pastor Sonny Jr., Sister Kim, Pastor Philip as the leader of this ministry, Sister Tanya and their kids, and all the leaders. Pastor Ezra and, and his wife. Because we're under attack. This is a warfare, my brother. This is warfare. The devil hates what we're doing. And the only way we're going to bind the powers of the devil is if we have the anointing of God on our side and the power of the word of God. Amen. The faith that goes with it to do the impossible. Amen. So right after this meeting, we're going to meet right outside. And we, I'm going to take sign-ups. For those of you who say, sign me up. I want to be a soldier. I want to pray for my leaders. I want to pray for all the leaders, the young gang leaders, that last generation, if you would. I'm going to pray for them. And what we have done for Pastor Sunday and elders, we want to give that to you guys. So Pastor Philip doesn't have to fight demons. You know, that he doesn't really have to fight certain demons. You fight them for him. He can fight all the demons of different countries and things like that. But, but he doesn't have to be fighting the amount of powers around that come against his family. We need to help him. Amen. Amen. The same thing with Ezra. The same with all the leaders that we have here. Amen. So I'm going to take sign-ups right in the back. We're going to build an army. We're going to give that to Pastor uh, Sunday Jr., Pastor Philip. We're going to say, here, we got 300. We got 700. Yeah. We got a thousand prayer warriors. That are, you know, you go ahead and take those countries. You go ahead and lead us to those countries. We're going to back you up. Amen. And, 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 and also we need to, you know, pray for Pastor Sonny and all the elders as well. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord.